Well, today marks 22 years since a group of terrorists hijacked four planes and flew them into American targets across the East Coast. Do you remember what you were doing when you found out? I was at home and I just finished a workout when I turned on the TV and then my news pager went off with the big alerts. In the two decades since 9-11, a lot has changed about the way that we fly. The TSA, the Transportation Security Administration, was created just months after the attack and lots of new rules went into place. But let's take a look into the KGW vault to the night of the attack when travelers were stranded after all the flights across the country were grounded. Here's Kyle Boshi, 22 years ago tonight. We saw a lot of glass broken out and a corner of the building appeared to be uh, in distress. As word of the attack spread through Portland International Airport, dozens of passengers and even employees flocked to the nearest TV set, watching in disbelief, disgust and anger as the tragedy unfolded. Very, very scary. Very scary. Here, this is the biggest tragedy that I can ever remember in my lifetime. I mean, we may very well have lost as many people today as we lost in the Vietnam War. Moments later, for the first time ever, the FAA ordered all flights grounded nationwide, leaving many passengers at PDX stranded. We, we'd rather we'd rather wait another day then to make safe. to be safe. Planes on the tarmac had to turn around. So they turned around and brought us back to the gate. While those planes in the air were either diverted or sent back to Portland. It was kind of scary. I was asleep and woke up and pilot told everybody not to cancel, but as soon as we got to the ground to get off the plane as quickly as possible. Many passengers will now be forced to reschedule, creating a major backlog for the airlines and their passengers. I think we all realize that it's uh, national security. I mean, you know, watching what's happened on TV and so forth. So uh, I guess our vacation and, and the big picture is minuscule. Security at the airport is already much tighter with additional officers and canine units and it's expected to stay that way indefinitely. This is the, the most drastic measures that the FAA has implemented uh, in its history. Officers say they'll conduct at least one more security sweep of the entire airport before passengers return and planes are back in the air. I was at the airport a few days later when those first flights returned and started with incoming passengers. I think the first big jet had about five people on board. Do you have any memories you'd like to share from those days? Send them our way. Doesn't matter if you're watching us live or later. We'd love to hear from you. Our address is the story at KGW.com.